closed. Well, Sandy, it's great to have you back again. You were here at the previous online class. We're excited for your mini album. It's always fun seeing your new flips and flaps and belly bands and all this all new terminology. Bands. Just for dinners. <laughs> belly bands, yes, sounds <laughs> awesome. So um, yeah, we've got um, Jenny scrapping out to set the, set the pace for Sandy. And um, yeah, we're excited, thanks. Okay, away. so ladies, what you're going to need on your desk? Um, I shall switch cameras. Oh, Dennis is going to switch cameras. Hold a sec. Okay, so what I've got on my desk is I've got my notes printed. My notes are a little different from the way Jenny does hers, but I've got my notes printed. I've got my mini album blank, celebrate mini album blank sitting here, and then I've got my paper pack. Um, and we're going to start off and we're going to work a little bit differently because we can't. I don't want to cut the pages because then we lose all the, the, the bits and pieces. So we're going to start off, first of all, by cutting the sheet at the back. Then we're going to cut the inside sheet and we're going to assemble the base album. Once we've done that, then we'll start adding the flaps. So at the end of the session, I'm hoping to have everything in place. You probably won't embellish, but you'll have the base in place ready for you to embellish. Because it's pretty cool, you can go then and embellish put your photos in and embellish to make it make sense. <clears throat> so first off, you need to take out the paper pack. And from your paper pack, you need to take out just the one sheet of paper that's labeled tight knot. So it's this first one. Okay, so you need to, oopsie, sorry, Dennis, I'm incredibly clumsy. So the first thing you need to do is just get rid of your advertising strip, your barcode. So let's cut that off. And then just take your little steel strips and keep them to the side because you can use those for decorating as well. All right, and then I do have a picture, and I have asked you to cut to 12. So keeping it the same way on your scoreboard where you've just cut off your, your barcode, you're going to cut to eight and three quarters. All right, and this is your piece marked A1. So I'm just going to put it flat down on my desk. Put it face down next to me. And we're going to use the leftover piece. Okay, so we're going to use the leftover piece and we're going to cut it to eight and three quarter inches. So it might be better to work on this side so that you can see the protea, but you're going to cut this side to eight and three quarter inches as well. And that should be by two inches. So you're going to have a few leftovers. Okay, and we're going to be adding this little two inch strip. We're going to add it. Onto the back of this piece. So just to show you what's going to happen. Sorry. Sorry, just give me two seconds to collect myself. This piece here is going to land up on the back of your album. Okay, it's gonna be like that. Make sense? Okay, so I'm just leaving it so that you can see. I'm gonna leave it like that just for 30 seconds. You've cut that strip like that. Could you just um, say the measurements again for piece A1? Piece A1 
is 12 inches by eight and three quarter. Okay, so on your cutting guide, and be piece A2 is two inches by eight and, sorry, two inches by eight and three quarters. Right. So you've got a couple of little pieces that are left over and you're just gonna pop those to the side because you're not gonna use those at the moment. All right, so now it's really careful that, uh, uh, sorry, it's really important that you can you um, join them correctly. So we're gonna take this piece of paper, we're gonna flip it over. All right, so I've got my big piece to the left and I'm taking my smaller piece and I'm flipping it over and I'm putting it on the right hand side. So they are next to each other. So you should have something that looks like that. Those off cuts we'll use at a later stage. So we're going to use them. We may use some, we may not use some at the end of the album. And then what I do to join my pieces is I cut little pieces of tape. Just a piece like that, a piece like that. And all that does is it anchors the pieces that I want to connect together. It anchors them in place. Now, because I'm clumsy, you saw just now not the cutting mat. Because I'm clumsy, I do that. Now I can remove those two pieces of tape and I can then take my 12 mil tape. And I can join my two pieces together. So this is going to form the outer cover of my album. Sandy, mm. can I ask you just to give me a few seconds? Yes. I just, I think because you're working on a smaller scale, I'm going to drop the camera oh, okay. ever so slightly. Okay, while Dennis is doing that, you might as well start opening your mini album. That's a great use of mine. It's a really good use of mine. It's a good one, isn't it? It's a card. Mm -hmm. It's a oh, card. Yeah. Okay. It might just be a little bit easier to see what, what I'm doing. What you're doing a little bit closer. There we go. Right, so we finished with that for the, for the next two or three minutes. We're just going to pop that to the side. And we're going to, I'm going to pop the album to the side. We're taking out all the bits. Just keep those to one side. And we're going to be working with those three pieces of hardboard, chipboard, grey board, whatever you want to call it. The harm board, it has about a million names. All right, or maybe not quite. So what we are going to do now is we're going to tape up all the way around the edge. And I'm going to do first. Getting a few questions just as to this, what is this brown tape? Uh, this brown tape is um, just normal double sided tape, but it's good for humidity. And those of you who know Durban, we have just a touch. So the ladies at home, this is the normal like 12 mil. It's a 12 mil double sided tape. tape. Okay. And it's just a brand that's like suitable for Durban climate. It's not as I don't think it's as, as strong as the red tape, you know, the thick red tape that you use. But it's stronger than the tape that's got the white backing. So all you, I want you to do is we're just going to go all the way around the outside edge and we're putting a couple of pieces of tape down the center on the two covers. So 
I think one of the important things is if you're making a mini album, you're going to spend a lot of time and effort making it. And depending on the size of the album, you're going to spend a lot of money as well. So if you're going to do that, you might as well use the correct tools. And when I, when I say that, I mean use the correct tape and glue. If you use like seriously cheap China mall tape, it is going to eventually your album's just going to fall apart. So on the spine, I like to coat the spine with double-sided tapes. So I generally put on the two outside long sides first. And then I just add. So I just want to add, while I'm doing this, the mini albums are um, cut in metric. So I've given you a rough estimation in Imperial, but I haven't cut anything down. I've just used it exactly as it is out of the, out of the mini album pack. So it's not gonna make the hugest difference because um, it's so close that all the measurements will work. Okay, so we've got everything covered. I'm gonna give you a little while to cover them or to get your tape on them. So we're just having a few people battling with log on issues. We're not finding a solution, <laughs> so it's working for most people, but some people can't. We can wait. If the girls want to fussy cut anything, because I don't know if we did ask them to fussy cut for the not mini for, album. Not the mini album. Um, I have used, I think it's the back. If you want to fussy cut in the mean, start fussy cutting. I've used this big, thank you so much. I've used this image, but I actually cut it into a square. So I've used that one. And I've used, I've selected pieces out of here. So I think it's also important that if you wanna do that, you just choose what you want. So I've used that as a tuck spot. So I've used those two. And then for the front of the album, I've used um, the Protea images. Actually, I may have used that one. I think I actually yeah. used that one for the pocket, not the other one, the circular one. So if you want to do anything with the work, maybe fussy cuts the proteas because we're going to use them. So the ladies who are battling are going to switch to Facebook Live so they okay. can follow on there. All right, so we've done, we've created our, our outer cover and we're now going to be adding our board to our outer cover. So the way I do it, to make life easy because I like to make life as easy as possible. I like to use my ruler to help me keep my levels. So again, I'm taking a little piece of tape, the teeniest piece of tape, and I'm gonna just, just going to stick it in an arb spot on the left hand side. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove my release paper from both of those. And I'm going to pop my ruler Okay, I'm popping it an inch up. So I don't know if you can see that. If you've got a Chiswick ruler, a Chiswick ruler is exactly an inch. But if I put my ruler, like basically stuck it onto my tape an inch up from the left hand side, because we're going to be working from left to right. Okay. 
And once you've done that, you can remove the release tape from the back of your board. And our first one, we're going to work from the left hand side, measuring in. Oh, it's going to reflect anyway. Measuring in an inch, and I'm going to place the first board down. Okay, so that's stuck down, all stuck. That's quite a handy trick using your ruler fastened mm. onto it. Yeah, because otherwise what was happening is it was fastened one side and it was moving the other side. So you yeah. couldn't get a level. Mm. There are some new, new tools coming up, but honestly, I don't want to be walking around with a big right mm. angle thing. Okay. The next step is really important. And I did have a tape with this color backing, but somewhere between our bed and breakfast where we're staying and here we lost it. So I've got a what it's the same brand of tape it's an easy tape that Dennis had and it's a quarter of an inch so it's roughly six mil we're going to pop in a six mil piece of tape so that tape is right next to the cover there's the cover there's the six mil tape there this is going to give us a big enough gap. We don't need anything else. We don't need anything fancy. We don't need any sticks, anything else to stick inside. That six mil piece of tape is perfect for giving us the space we need between our cover, outer cover, and our spine. So we can remove, remove the release paper and pop this piece. And if you're using a ruler, it's going to keep everything level. Okay, so there's your one board, your first board, your quarter inch tape, your spine, and you guessed it, we're going to put in another piece of quarter inch tape. Okay, so outer cover, quarter inch, spine, quarter inch, and finally, How far from the side is the cover? An inch in. Inch up. An inch in and an inch up. And if you do that, you should have almost probably an inch all the way around, roughly an inch. If it's slightly more or slightly less, don't stress too much. Okay, thank you. It's a pleasure. And you can pop your next one down. All right. So we've got roughly an inch all the way around, which is important. And once we've done that, we can remove our ruler. Just be careful with the tape. Normally the tape stays on the paper, but it hasn't here. So just make sure that you pull it a little bit more, more gently than I did. Julie Cox from Australia is very excited to be doing this project. Oh, great. Thanks, Julie. So I think you're either a mini album person or you're not a mini album person. And um, yeah, you either love them or you like Lara. I don't think she's come back. You like Laura, who says they're dust collectors. <laughs> I do think for gifting, they're a really nifty idea. Because they, people don't, if you gift a scrapbook page, not many people know what to do with it yeah. if they're not scrapbooks. But mm. a mini album is a great coffee table, talking piece. It is. It's a, it's, a, it's a lovely, lovely, really lovely gift, especially for like grannies and grandpas and great grannies and grandpas and stuff, because you can put grandchildren in and you can make, it's a finite. It's not like a, a big album that you have to keep adding to. 
or you can only get once you've got like heaps of pages. This is a quick, easy project. Okay, can we carry on? So in our in our view, when Sandy talks, we can see uh, Lolly, Desiree, Cornet, and Helen. If you guys could just give us a wave. Cool. So <laughs> yeah, thumbs up if Sandy asks if we can move on, please. Are we good to go? Okay, so the next step that we're gonna do is we're just gonna tape all the way around the edge. Now, when I tape up, I leave, I leave a space in the corners. So you'll see I only tape pretty much in line with where, with where the album is. And I generally tape up around the edges first because when I come to my, to my corners, I then don't have to, if you put tape there after, you land up um, getting a sticky pair of scissors, which is not great. Do you tear the, sorry, I'm just asking Jenny, she just tears the easy tape, the backing. Do you tear this? Yeah, I just tear it, but it's just separating from the backing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, good. I don't get the white one on because they say it's not great for humidity. This one. But it seems to work. Oh, good. Okay, so I use just these pieces around the outside. And then next, I pick up my scoring tool and just gently, well, not so gently, but just score as close to the edge as possible. And all this is gonna do is it's gonna help when you do your folding. So I'm not gonna fold it yet. I don't think you can see on this paper because it's too light. But generally what happens is you can actually see the score line come through onto the back of your page. Okay, so we've just scored all the way around. And then I'm going to matter my corners. Now I'm going to use my matter magic, right, a little tool. You can look on YouTube, there's a little video um, that should be updated. <laughs> but I'm going to use my Mata Magic to match the corners. If you don't have one, all we're going to do, Mata, means we're going to cut across the corner like so. But when we cut across the corner, what's really important is that you leave approximately two mil gap between the edge of your page. And I'm going to show you what I mean. You need a gap between the corner and where you've cut. I'm just going to cut all the way around. So Sandy is the uh, inventor and creator of the Mighty Magic. It's her own product for many albums. With, with Dennis's help. So if you, <laughs> no, not really, but uh, if you're needing a mighty magic, just get hold of Sandy. I know even Jenny's taken quite a few to Oz. Mm, I think I've sold so, over 150 of them. Over 150 <laughs> sold in Oz already, so it should be a, a mini album household name. Just a quicker way of... It's just a quicker way of quicker, doing it. Accurate, more more accurate, accurate and yeah. also, yeah, make sure you don't cut your corners too close because that's when you land up with issues. Okay. Okay, so all I'm going to do next is I'm just going to use my board. I use my board a lot to help me fold. It just gives a really nice crisp fold. I'm only folding in those two, the two um, long sides, the top and the bottom, because what I'm going to do next is I'm going to lift a teeny weeny, I call them my zips, 
just going to lift that zip and that zip like so. Okay, so I've got these two little pieces that are loose because now what I'm going to do is remove my tape and fold. Remove the tape from the bottom and fold. So the zip is only on the one. I only do it on the one oh, side. Okay, to get access to it. To get access, yeah. If you forget to do it, you can still get access, but it's much quicker and easier if you do it this you do it now. And I'm also just going to burnish just to make sure my tape is stuck. You could use glue. I'm sure you could use glue. I just don't like glue because I land up getting it everywhere on my clothes everywhere. Helen says it's her first time using her mitre the jig. Sandra loves the mitre tool. And Benita says, Miss you girls on baby <laughs> D already. Ah, <laughs> oh, Byron, wish you were still here. Mm. All right, so so far, not too difficult. Next, we're going to be folding in. So, this is a really important step because this is going to make your album look really neat and professional. We're just going to pull it in. Okay, so literally I'm taking my um, a scoring tool bone, bone folder and I'm just pulling on the side. This one generally I push from the bottom, just push it in. And all it's doing, I don't know if you can see, I think it is a little bit too far away, but it's just, instead of the line running straight, it's got a little bit of a dip. So I'll do that one. That one. Okay, so it's just made like a little indentation off that straight line. And once we've done that, simple, simple step, we can now fold. And we should have beautifully mounted corners. Okay, so the folds, it's all folded and it looks it looks perfect. Sandy, there you have it. Julie Cox in Australia says she's got her mitre magic and she loves it. Great oh, tool. cool. <laughs> That's awesome. Thanks, Jed. Thanks, Dennis. <laughs> Look how neatly I work, Dennis. I'm very impressed. There's nothing on the floor, Jenny. <laughs> Give me a bin. I'll put it in. <laughs> it's, it's really weird that Sandy's using the bin on that side. It's full. <laughs> it's very full. Is it very full? Mm, it's dense. You're giving me a bad name here. <clears throat> Lie. <laughs> okay. You need, not those yet, sorry. You need your page marked, oopsie, compassion, not oopsie. You need the one marked compassion. And this is interchangeable. I just love music, paper. Um, I studied to be a music teacher when I was younger. So music, if there's music anywhere, that's me. I take the music. So you're going to cut this one. You're going to cut it. You can cut, let's cut the advertising strip off, the barcode strip off. Dennis has got us a binge. This Thank is so you. exciting. Exciting. You can cut your barcode strip off, remember to keep it. Because you never know when next you're going to need it. Okay. And then with your paper that way, you're going to cut it down to eight and five eighths of an inch. I'm sorry that I'm using such weird measurements. Oopsie. And I'm going to show you quickly where eight and five eighths of an inch is. It's 22 centimeters. Sorry, it, have I got eight and five eighths? One, two, three, four, five, which is 22 centimeters. No, it should be six and five eighths. I don't know where the gremlin came from. Oh. I do apologize, see Jen. Oh. Six and it's six, it should be six and five eighths. I'm going to bring the, the, three, four, the you can even go to six and a half would work. Okay, so you're measuring down this way. So that's why we're keeping 
our music running that way. And I'm just going to show you how I, if you take it to six and five eighths, okay, it's going to fit in from one side to the other side. If you take it to six and a half, which is a much easier measurement for you to cut, it's going to give you a little gap on either side. So please change that eight and five eighths to six and five eighths. So basically six and five eighths is the mark just after the half. That's not good of me. Can you repeat the uh, measurements again? Because it's Instead of the eight, it needs to be a six and five eighths. Six? Six and five eighths, or you can even go six and a half. A teeny bit over six and a half. It's a teeny bit over six and a half. If you go all the way through to six and five eighths, it might even be big. Thank you. Okay. Now, everybody's base is going to be slightly different depending on what you did here. So I've asked you to cut it to 12 inches. And you'll see your piece of paper, your inner cover is maybe slightly too big. So all I want you to do is place your inner cover on your album, like so. And then using a pencil, make a little mark where you want it to go. You need to cut and just trim off. You're probably going to trim off somewhere in the region of that amount, which is Three not... More about three, four more. And then just test it against your album again to make sure that it covers. So it should fit perfectly inside. Okay. <laughs> now you can use whatever makes you happy. If you want to use the butterflies, you can use that side or you can use the music notes. I'm going to continue with the music notes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to prep this. So to prep it, oh, am I going too fast? So obviously, Erin uh, loves many albums. I think you got the bug to bite. And in Namibia, she taught a mini album. And um, they all said, oh, you're doing something different here. And because she goes every year. And it was the tape. So you know, she's like, yep, she's done the sandy glass since the last one. <laughs> okay. And so she loves that, uh, putting the tape to get your spacing. Yeah. And, and you cool. don't need anything else. You don't need any fancy tools. Like, for with scrapbooking and mini album making you're already spending a lot of money so if you just have you only need basic tools you don't need any fancy stuff yeah and from experience i mean i know i've got a lot <laughs> okay can i press on so we're going to prep this we've made sure that our inner cover fits perfectly inside we're going to turn it over or if you want this side then you're going to tape on the other side and we're going to prep it by putting tape all the way around the edge. So yeah, I notice you stick your tape right on the edge. Right on the edge. Whereas Jenny seems to leave like a, cent, a, a, a millimeter. I don't is, leave. Is it just a preference or it's is probably it Probably because critical? I'm not as accurate as she. <laughs> <laughs> We're not, so. When I put mine, particularly on a score, it needs to be between the edge and the score. Okay. But if it's around the outside of a piece of paper, it's pretty close to the yeah. edge. Yeah, it is, it is. So that's also why I prefer to use tape to glue because the glue tends to squelch out or mm. if it doesn't leach out, then it doesn't go far enough to the end. So if this way, if you've got it right around the edge of the book, it sticks perfectly, like mm. you get a really good closure. 
Okay, so on this one, you're just sticking it all the way around the edge. I'm gonna pop that one to the side because we need the outer of our album again. We need to prep that. That's all we're gonna do on the inner cover for now. That's it. So important steps now, really important now is that we tape right close to the spine on either side. So these are white six mil, these are white six mil. We taping and you'll see I don't start right at the top. I start about half, half an inch down because that tape is gonna come in there. So I've got to put a piece of tape this side and a piece of tape this side and a piece of tape on this side of the, the fold and a piece of tape on this side of the fold. These are probably the four most pieces, uh, important pieces of tape that you'll ever put down. If you don't put those down, your spine, your um, inner cover is going to bubble. So those are really important. Now what you can do is you can go ahead and you can add tape. And I am gonna show you an easy way to remove the tape. The, when I say remove, remove the release tape. Cause you're looking at probably looking now thinking how in heaven's name am I gonna get this on? Get the inner cover on without having an issue. But I'm going to show you. So I'm a little bit overkill with tape because I don't want it bubbling. I suppose because it gets handled a lot more, many albums compared to a layout, it needs to yeah. be a lot more. And I've left yeah. the outer because those two pieces are going to be attached there. So just make sure you've got your album the right way up. Bird is on the back, on the right hand side. And your music notes, it's quite easy to see which is the right way. Because of your butterfly. All right. So you're going to just take these two pieces and if you lift it and then give it a gentle tug, it will come out. We can get rid of those. And then we are going to attach, we're going to attach our inner cover on one side only. Okay. So what I've done with mine is I've got, I don't know if you can see here. So this is going to affect the way in which I put my piece of paper down. I've got a long piece of tape that that covers the entire length and it's on the bottom there's the right way up it's on the bottom of my page so that piece is what i'm going to attach you could have left that have that long piece on the top or on the side but i always use that as my starting point kind of my where i'm going to attach my piece of paper it's going to affect which way i'm going to attach it here so to make my life easy and the girls who've done my classes before, they know me and my zips. I'm going to just make a heap of zips, calling them zips for, because they kind of work like a zip. And just if you use your thumbnail to press down on them. It's just going to make your life easy and it also takes the stress and strain out of putting on a big piece of or a relatively big piece of paper. Okay, so I've got my zips prepped on this side and on here I'm going to also, I'm going to open four zips, one there, and you'll see I'm folding them to the outside so that I can grab onto them.
Just going to give you a little while to, to do that. That's um, really weird. Watch Lolly and Dave's raise cameras. They're in the same. They're they, next to each other. Like the, she crosses. Yeah. yeah. Lo Lolly's at Dave's house. And now Dave's back home. Oh, Lolly's back home. <laughs> no, Lolly. <laughs> Lolly, we can see you. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, de um, mini album making is definitely, you either love it or you don't love it. <laughs> it's not one of those, oh, I might do it. It's like you either like doing it or you don't like doing it. It's very definite. Okay, so once you've got it to that um, level, remember I'm going to be removing this piece of tape, but not before I've positioned it. So because I've got all those little zips, I can pretty much position I can pretty much position this, put it where I want it to be, and now just hold my hand down. Okay, this now is not going anywhere because it's totally stuck down. It's stuck down. I can now lift this up. I can remove all my zips. You clever dolphin fish. <laughs> I can lay it down. And everything's in place, and there's no stress, no pressure, nothing. Super, super, super easy. That's clever. Well done. Thank you. Very clever. Okay, there's my outer cover. It's all ready for us. So all you have to do, just gently put your thumb on one side and fold over, and the same on the other side, fold over. And I sometimes take the back of my scoring tool and just burnish, because all you want to do is you want to get the inner cover and the outer cover to stick together. So we've been going for about 25 minutes and we've used two pieces of the paper, Dennis, is that all right? <laughs> Not like Jenny, where she's so, been through the whole pack in 25 minutes. <laughs> so we've been going for 40 minutes. 40 already. minutes? Yeah. <gasps> and we used two pieces so of paper. <laughs> but look what we've got. Yeah. We've got the outside of an album. We could stop already. <laughs> <laughs> no, not yet. We've got to put the papers on. Oh, okay. Inner pages. Inner pages. Very first. cool. Yeah. Very, very cool. Okay. So next up, we need two, only two. Of, of the base pages. Let's just get a thumbs up if people are ready to move on. Lolly's ready. Oh, go Lolly and Des and Cornet. Awesome. Helen Robertson, are you ready? No? Okay, we'll give you a few more minutes. I think this, if this is your first time, it's diff it yeah, just difficult. Yeah, it's difficult. Also, because Des, Lolly, Cornet, They've all made a couple of albums. Kerry's made one or two. The other girls have made lots, but they also know how to yeah. remove the tape. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know what was happening with um, Lolly earlier, but I think she owes you a chocolate for saving her. <laughs> Lolly, you owe me a chocolate. Yep. What do I owe you? <laughs> How did I save you? Uh, we saved you. We were like, Lolly, we're watching you. 
I don't know what was happening there, but there was some sort of um, strip show about to happen. <laughs> there was a little t-shirt tugging and mm -mm. <laughs> So oh, Helen looks like she's ready. Yep. She's you ready, ready, Helen? There we go. Okay. So out of your paper, out of your craft paper, we're going to take the biggest one. And I think I see the third page going down. This one, we just get my guillotine. The biggest one, you might need to trim it down a little bit to nine and a half inches. And it is already six inches because it's 15 centimeters. And your second one is going to be eight and three quarter inches. So I'm going to give you those measurements again. They are on your notes. So this one is nine and a half, nine and a half inches by six inches. So you don't have to do anything of the heart. Nine and a half. And this one you cut into eight and three quarter by six. So again, you don't have to do anything with the heart. Nine and a half and eight and three quarters. And then you get your scoreboard. We are now going to score at four and one eighth. So just to show you, four and one eighth is there. So there's four, there's four and a quarter, there's four and one eighth. So we're gonna score. Give me a moment. Just give me one moment to double check my measurement because I thought I'd written it down. Four and one eighth. Sorry. And four and one eighth. Yep, it's right. How do you doubt yourself when you know that's the right measurements? Okay, so you're scoring at four and one eighth. Then you're going to turn it around and you're going to score at four and one eighth. And don't do what I've just done now because I pressed too hard. But four and one eighth. And then flip it and four and one eighth. And you're going to do exactly the same on this one. You're going to mark it four and one eighth and flip it 180 degrees and four and one eighth. So what you're going to land up with is a half inch gap. Okay, a half inch gap there. And here is going to be a one inch gap. Okay, I'll do that again. You're going to put your one inch or one and a quarter. Sorry, four and one eighth and four and one eighth. It's one, uh, one and a quarter. Sorry. One and a quarter. Okay. okay. So it's four and one eighth. Turn it one eighty and four and one eighth. Remove four and one eighth. Turn one eighty and four and one eighth. So basically, your page size is now four and one eighth of an inch. All your page sizes, and what it's done is it's given you the inside with your hinge area, so it's getting bigger, and it's called a stack the deck hinge. I do love the terminology in many stack albums. Stack the deck. Oh. Belly bands. Stack, stack the deck. No belly. Band. Jenny had a belly band earlier. Oh, I did. Last night you had a belly band. Yes. Sandy, can I just ask a quick question? Um, sure. The C1 and C2, can you please just give me the measurements, width and height? So, sorry, I don't know where I put my notes. Hold a sec. C1 is nine and a half. Let me do a little post it so you can see. So, lol, you don't have to cut anything 
height wise. You're only cutting down on the width wise because we've taken it from um, metric to imperial. So it's nine and a half by six inches. And this one is eight and three quarters by six inches. So this is C2 and this is C1. And then Sandy, we are scoring both of them at four and one eight on both of them. Both of them. I don't know if you can see that. So you cut to nine and a half by six, eight and three quarter by six. And then you score four and one eighth, 180, four and one eighth, and the same on these. So you're going to land up with a half inch and a one and a quarter inch gap. I don't know if you can read that. I can't see my score line so clearly. Quiet on the WhatsApp and Facebook side, so I think everybody's following. It's actually something where you need to just be quiet for a little bit and con mm -hmm. concentrate and get the measurements. Yeah, yeah. Without like loads of noise and that, because it just. The people following on Facebook obviously don't have the notes in front of them, so but they seem to be fine. So I like Jamie's little stickers because they're nice and clear. Yeah. Normally, this is how I do my notes for the classes. So yep. we don't normally use pattern paper. We're only using cardstock. Okay. So the girls prep everything. They have it all cut. Yep. And they cut and just label A and all. OK, so this is a slightly different format. But A will always be the outer cover. So it could be A1, A2, A3, depending on how many sheets we're using. Mm. And B is always the um, hinge. Very clever. So it, they mm. they all know they they know now that A B C D E whatever it is pages are always D yeah. and these D one and D two to create your page. Clever. Can we press on? Is everyone ready? Let's ask Helen. 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 Yes. There we go. Kerry. Yep. Okay, perfect. All right, if you have a look really carefully at your craft paper, you'll see it's got two different colors to it. 
one is slightly lighter than the other one who knows why but when you do your album now what I like to do is I like to first of all fold on those score lines get everything nice and straight okay but when I'm prepping the album I like to put the colors so the same color together if that makes sense I don't know if that makes sense so the same way so that they mm. they otherwise mm. I want these two cut the same color on the inside these two pieces that are going to be showing together don't have words <laughs> run out of air time run out of air time all right so I've just folded them because I want to do I want to prep them before I stick them in my album so I've got the lighter color on the outside I've got the slightly darker color inside then I've folded the next one so the darker colors on the outside and the lighter colors on the inside I don't know if that makes sense mm -hmm. and I'm going to flip them over so this chap has got the lighter color which I'm going to tape and I'm taping it right next to uh, the score line. And then on this one, I'm going to tape on the dark side. Make sure when you cut your, your um, tape that you cut it neatly. You don't want bits of tape hanging off the edge. I normally join mine before I stick them in the album. So again, my little zip. So I've got a bit of wiggle time. And also it stops, it stops the um, two sheets from like sticking together because this gives it just a teeniest, like teeniest gap. Are we gonna pop them on there? eyeball it in place you should have roughly the same amount of um, space on either side get them nice and level if you can and then we have lifted my little zip I've now attached it so I can open up and not break your double sided tape like I've just done because I'm pushing too hard so I'll have to make another little zip Okay, remove my tape. And what I find is that often the page is not just not a hundred percent level. I grab my guillotine and I just need to look at with mini albums it's really important as you're going to fix up any errors so if you a little bit off if things aren't perfectly straight then just fix it as you go it's normally banished Just go back to it. Your husband is your biggest fan. <laughs> <laughs> That's so nice. He's normally banished from the room. And if he opens the door and I'm busy, busy videoing, he normally gets like, Talk, you're not allowed to come in till I'm finished. <laughs> now he knows you won't shout at when we're around. <laughs> okay, so that's the base of your album. So it's a really simple simple wallet way of making your pages and we're going to now add it to our album so the same thing again i'm going to create my little zips because they help me and i'm taking make, um, making a zip at the top of this one and the bottom of that one and then i can position it in my album 
It's quite nice, like Jane said, when you've got lines, you can eyeball it. If you don't want to eyeball it, if I remember correctly, it's about an inch. It's about an inch, roughly an inch and a quarter from each side. So if you don't want to eyeball it, you can put your ruler in place. But I honestly prefer just to eyeball stuff. Sorry. Do you remember the other online event? We had Juliet and then we had uh, Michelle van Weyck. Juliet does not eyeball. No. And, and Michelle van Weyck does not measure. <laughs> the two different styles together. <laughs> for, the, for, the, for the albums, I don't generally like making pages and all the measuring is important. Yeah. But when it comes to adding stuff into the album, it's like yeah. eyeball it. And there you go, you've got your base album made. Well done. That's very cool. Okay, so super simple. And so far we've only used two pieces of pattern paper, so it's really affordable. <laughs> that is very, very cool. But let me tell you, we're gonna use a bit more now. Okay. And so and me, one, of, one of your lines that you always use is yeah. it's handmade. So you don't, I don't know if you've said it um, was out, but it's handmade. So a little bit of it not being That's centered. It. That's it. They're handmade. If you want something perfect, go and buy a book in a shop. True. <laughs> okay. So on the front in a cover, I haven't done any fancy pockets or anything. But what I did do is I fussy cut from the, the uh, fussy cutting sheet. I think it's one of the fussy cutting sheets. I cut, uh, fussy cut the image as well as a little sentiment. And all I've done is I've, I've stuck tape just on this part to create a little tuck spot. Okay, so nothing terribly difficult. We're now going to start with decorating the pages. So I'm not going to do what Jenny did and cut everything. I'm going to literally cut and we'll, we'll attach and then cut and, and add and cut and add and cut and add. We need the piece marked extraordinary, not extraordinary, extraordinary. And it is PP7403. Looks like that. I'm gonna remove again around. Just want to switch these over. I'm gonna remove the advertising strip, barcode, whatever you call it. Remember to keep them. And then keeping it in your guillotine. You've got one of two options. You can either use the bottom section or the top section. Um, I used the top section and then realized that all the proteas were kind of facing down. But any, I'm going to do the same as what I did in the, the sample album. I'm going to cut it to five and three quarter inches, which is. Okay, I'm popping this piece to the side. At this moment, I'm not using. I'm not using these notes, I don't think. I just want to see what you've got. Double check what you've got because I think I only went. Okay. See, I'm still old school. I'm not like Jenny who has her iPad. I'm still old school. <laughs> So just for the sake of um, everybody, what was the measurement on that protein paper? Five and three quarter inches by 12 inches. And that was extraordinary. Yeah. Extraordinary. So if you have a look at your notes, you'll see mm -hmm. it's E1. It's 12 inches by five and three quarters. Five and three quarters is the heart. 
Yes. I'll wax it on here. I'll just say that's some pretty impressive handwriting you've got there. My mm. first year of Edward Teachers Training College, we had to do chalkboard. We had to write, we went and practiced. They don't do it anymore at teacher training colleges, but we had to go every week and practice for like however um, long mm. writing on a chalkboard. Okay, so there's that. There's also a tag that I, I used or I made using the bit of off cut, but don't do these because these are things you can always add in later. You don't even have to use the same piece of paper as I've used. So let's just get these basic pages made mm -hmm. and then you can come back and you can have a little bit of fun with it because I'm the kind of person who likes people to take what I've done and change it to make it fun for them. So these bits and pieces you can change it. I will, there are some pictures on my Google Drive, and I think there are some pictures here Dennis put in, but they, they will, they are definitely, and you've got the video, so you can change it then as well. Okay, so I'm just going to put this piece to the side, and we're going to be working with this guy. I'm popping it on my scoreboard the light paint start up and the only reason I'm doing that is because I'm going to create the fold so I just need to tell you ladies that I had done this whole thing in, in, in centimeters and then had to change it to inches that's my fault <laughs> sorry so I'm just hoping all my conversions were correct we score at four inches and at eight inches Okay, so just at four inches and at eight inches. On that 12 inch side, the 12 inch side is at the top. And then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop this back onto my paper trimmer. And I'm literally going to cut off. Sliver. A sliver. From. Sliver. Which it right is from the right hand side. It's like maybe a mill and a half. And the only reason I'm doing that is so that when I fold this, like so, and like so, it folds completely closed. So just by taking that minuscule amount off, it allows it to fold. If you have a circle punch and you want to cut a little tab, you need to do that now. I've done it in the original. I think I've used a one and a quarter inch punch. I'm not gonna do it on this one. I'm just gonna leave it flat. And then we're going to add it to our album. We want you to create punch it through all three layers. No, just just the just the, top, just just the, the back top, one. Okay. Yeah, just the back one. Okay, so if I was punching, I'd, I'd punch there. I'm going to turn it over now, and I'm going to place tape. And I'm using thin tape now. When I switch between tape, I switch between tape for a reason. I don't. I only use the six six more quarter inch tape for like little simple pockets and stuff. So we're going all the way around the edge and we're going, not all the way around, we're doing three sides because you want to create a pocket. So the top section, okay, my paper's open that way. One, two, three, because that's going to create a simple pocket. We can close it. And we're going to add it to our album. 
good fit. <laughs> because it was a good plan. take the stress out of doing it or having our little zips so there is our first page complete super duper easy and you can come in and you can add your little embellishments so i've got a little tag and because it's a mini album and it's not there's not bags and bags of space what i've done is where i've used the the ribbon i've actually glued it back and front so that it doesn't mm. make it too thick otherwise a small mini album won't cope with um with ribbon so i've just glued it okay can you just show us how that tag worked in there just for those who want to yes so those who want to remember you've done three sides only you've taped taped and taped and your tag which is your measurement number e2 your tag will just fit in. It doesn't even have to be a tag. You can use some of the leftover paper to create like a little, like a little foldy card type thing. But there's your tag. So super duper easy. Use some leftovers just to show you that you could put a little photo. And again, where I've put the sentiment, I haven't stuck it down because you want to come in with whatever you're sticking on here. You need to get underneath. Okay, page one done. We're going on to page two, and we need another of the page, the first page type knot, which is PP7401. I'm going to trim off the barcode. I do appreciate you just pretending it was supposed to be type knot. What was it? It was supposed to be type knit. Oh, I wanted one. Like a, yeah, like a tight think... knit kind of family, but it uh, came out tight knot, which Jenny uh, called me out on. But yes, well, I was just like tight knot. Errors. It's like a, we all make errors. <laughs> we do. I just thought it was quite a cute tight knot. <laughs> I didn't give you a hard time. It wasn't Wednesday. I just went. I'm sure this is meant to be tight knit, but anyway, <laughs> we'll just go with it. Well, I wondered with a tight knot because it, it was almost like a, a sailing term. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> All right, so we're working. Just reminding myself what I've done. It's a problem when you get old. <laughs> You're not old. <laughs> so much has happened in the last three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> so can I tell you something quite funny? So back when we were just chipboard people cutting chipboard, mm -hmm. we had a standard Afrikaans chipboard that a whole bunch of words like happy, but you know, all the Afrikaans mm -hmm. words. And on there was the word celebrasi. I think it was celebrasi. Anyway, we sold like probably over 800 of these before somebody came and said, there's no such word in Afrikaans as celebrasi. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we've sold 800 <laughs> over the course of a year and uh, discovered there was no such word. <laughs> you coined a new phrase. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. And listen, with the, our South Africans, anything goes. Anything goes. <laughs> anything goes. Like we were talking yesterday about putting an E in front of it, there and it works. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. So we're going to cut this little guy. We're going to cut to four inches by 12 inches. And when you cut it, you want to make sure that you get the bird image in. Okay, so that one. And then we're going to use the off cut. We're going to cut to seven and a half by five inches to create the insert. So I'm just going to show you what I mean by creating the insert. I've cut a piece just to create an insert. So I like, like I told you, I, I was trained as a music teacher. 
So what I like to do is I like to include the music wherever I can. So I'm going to turn that, I'm going to cut it this way to five inches. And this way, I'm turning it upside down to keep the music to seven and a half. Okay, so let me go through that again. I basically, from this piece, which looked like, can't remember now. Um, I think it was like that. Okay, looked like that. It's to the side. Pretty good at jigsaw puzzles. <coughs> okay, so there's my big piece. And then I cut this to five inches by seven and a half. Keep these because we'll use these at a later stage. Pick up our scoreboard. I've got the birds facing upward. I'll tell you why I've got it up. Number one, so I can see where to score. And number two, so that um, because it's folding inwards, it's going to fold better that way. I'm going to score at four inches and at nine and three quarter inches. Okay, I'll give you the score line, score lines again four inches and nine and three quarter inches. We hope that crazy at line what we've got. Oh, in there. <laughs> I thought you meant meat in the middle. I sat with my ruler and measured and re measured and mm. re measured. Okay. And if two. Okay. We want to score at three and a half inches. Okay, so if you just have a peek on here, I need to put it so that I've got more of the music side up and score at three and a half inches. So I'm putting it up that way and scoring at three and a half inches. And I'll add a little mark here. <coughs> Your post-it notes coordinate very well with this. I do I chose the pink I ones. Did you? I did. Was that intentional? It was intentional. To match my fingernails. The yellow would have just really ruined the whole It would have. But they match my fingernails. <laughs> Can the girls see that I've even oh. got protests on my fingernails? So Fair you enough. so you and Erin both um <laughs> theme your nails every month <laughs> with the celebrate collection. I don't know if the ladies know that. But well now you've given away a secret because sometimes our nails are done before. The launch. The launch. Yes. 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 Every now and again, we a little sneak peek. Mm. We get you're, this. You're, you're on the design team. <laughs> you do get the paper before. <laughs> okay. So let's add that to our album. I'll bring this to the side. Now the um, we're going to have the extra pockets. I'm just going to fold that up. We're going to have the little extra insert from the side. 
pull that one up, pull this one down. Okay, so it does look different from this one because I kind of like the proteas. So I added one of the off cuts to the front to give me more of the protea. Okay, so when we stick this one in, we have to only tape top and bottom. Jen, are you sure I can see this? Sorry? You Aussies are strong. What? Tear the, oh. tear the tape. I've never, tear, never torn the tape. I tear it all the time. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so you're just taping top and bottom. And then we can add it to our album. <coughs> and it should fit in absolutely like with minimal space around the edges. Oopsie. Just a nice fine border. Very fine. And this little guy can be folded. Don't forget to burnish. I can fit in the side. And often in the beginning, when you stick them in, they're really tight, but as you use it more and more, it's way more easier to get your little bits of, um, your, your bits of paper in and out far more easily. So what I added on here, when you come to do your decorating, what I added here is I added an off cut and I added one of the little um, sentiments at the bottom here. If you want to, you could put a magnet as well if you really want to have a magnetic closure. And then some of you might ask where I got the beautiful from. Because they know, just trying to find it quickly for you. Um, with a small mini album this size, some of these are a little bit big. So what I've just done is I've just cut them out. So any some of the sentiments I used are just these and I'll cut them down smaller to, to see the size of the album. Okay. Awesome, Sandy. We've done two pages. Yay! And the crowd went wild. So much fun. Let's go on to page three. Let me just get this little guy in. Okay, on to page three next. Back to the side. Jenny, we're getting a few comments on your cough here. So, I'm sorry. Can, no, saying that it sounds sore, you need to look after yourself. <laughs> so, what the ladies at home don't realize is that Jenny is already in her pajamas and oh. is, <laughs> is scrapping very comfortably out of camera. <laughs> so, we are, we are looking after her. <laughs> it's not fair. Jenny was allowed to wear pajamas for my class, but I had to wear full clothing for her. <laughs> People don't want to see me in my pajamas teaching. <laughs> right, we're going on to page three, which is generosity. You are going to have a little bit of paper left at the end of this, and I have got a plan. I did speak to Dennis about a plan that I had, but um, there's a bit of chaos this last month. So I don't know, you just had a bit of rain. Tiny bit of rain. Just a little bit of rain. A little bit of water in the craft room. <laughs> Nothing like a major flood or anything. If I show the girls what the bedroom looked like, they would maybe understand. <laughs> well, she had this stupid Aussie coming to stay who got sick and couldn't come. <laughs> okay, so we are doing G1. We're going to cut off the advertising strip, the barcode. Why am I the only one who calls it an advertising strip? The barcode. I just call it a barcode. I call it a barcode because that's what we have. So you the other day had a new name. You said Unique Q or something. Oh no, it was unique. Oh. I really, I was like lost Uni the other Q. day. I thought that's what you called it, the unique. You know, like a like, you know, like, like Laura Hannah and a Dovett. 
Uh, <laughs> Dub it and a UDQ. Right. right. The penny has dropped. At okay. home, I just call it a branding strip. Branding strip. A branding strip. A brand, branding strip. I call it a... Because it doesn't actually have a barcode on it. No. So. That's why I don't know why it's called a barcode strip. In the old days, we used to put barcodes because we didn't sell in paper packs. We sold in you know, individual, individual sheets. So Ooh. I think it's devolved. <coughs> I call it an advertising strip because it advertises who's made the page. So yeah. Okay, so we're popping the stripes up on your board this way, uh, horizontal, not vertical. And we are going to cut a base mat for G1. But before we do that, we're going to cut a base mat to four inches by five and three quarter inch. So I'm going to show you because I'm not Lani like Jen. Mine's still, you know, paper. This is kind of what we're going to be cutting. Okay. So we're going to cut a four inch strip. And then we're going to turn it. So it's four inches. We're going to turn it 90 degrees. And then we're going to cut to five and three quarters. And then we are going to cut a two inch strip from the leftovers. So you would have some Aussies asking, what time is it in South Africa? I think they're, they're ready for bed. Quarter to three. Yeah. What is the Oz time now? It should be quite late, actually. Uh, 2247, so quarter to 11. Quarter to 11. Oh, yep. still Julie, early. go to bed. <laughs> you can see us tomorrow, catch us tomorrow. Okay, so you've got those two pieces for now. Okay, so you cut it to four inches, then you cut it to five and three quarter inches, and then you took the leftovers and you cut this piece to two inches. So I'll give you a Four-inch bar. Looks like that. And then you've got a two-inch. Oh, look. Look how big this one is. How cool is that? You can see it. Woo-hoo. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing I've used, again, I've used an off cut. So I don't want you to cut these until the end. You can go back and you can choose your own off cuts or you can do exactly as I've done. So we're doing that and that to start with. So let's just pop these to the side for now. You're going to come back and you're going to use all these little pieces later. All this we do with this one is we simply go to stick it down flat. Okay, it's just added flat, so it's just a base page mat. So you can use glue, you can use tape, you can use whatever makes your heart happy. Now that I know I can break this tape. Sometimes it lifts up a little bit of the, the paper oh, when you I'm going to practice. Okay, do you want to see something scary? So see my, see this finger? See how it's bent like is, that? Is that from taping? It's from constantly. That's what I do. I push that down to tear my tape. You bent your finger. Yeah, and see? Tear your tape. Oh, I don't know if I'm okay, going to be doing that tape like that for a while. Please cut with a blade. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think a bent finger is worth mm, it. <laughs> they're still looking okay. Let's see how long it takes to bend it. Okay, so this one we're just sticking flat. Let's get it out the way because it's simple. Not that the other one isn't simple. Right, and you'll see I always do my little um, my little zips. Because once you've got one section down, you don't have to worry about it going crooked. And also when you use glue, I don't know about anybody else, but I don't know, I seem to put the glue down and then I do this and I move it off the page. And oh, shame, it's a problem, I tell you. This little guy we're going to school. You need your scoreboard. 
I'm getting rid of this for now. Popping this on my scoreboard with the pink side up. And we've got it on the six and a quarter inch side. And on the six and a quarter inch side, we're scoring at half an inch. And we're scoring at five and three quarters. So we basically have a half inch on the side and a half inch on that side. So we're scoring at half an inch and five and three quarter inches. And I'm going to use my half inch tape, which will fit perfectly in that scored section. And if it doesn't, you're just going to trim off any excess. And you make sure you go score lines again, please. You're going to score at half an inch and five and three quarter inches. Nice. Jen, you shrunk my scoreboard. Did you shrunk my scoreboard? <laughs> my tape's too big for my scoreboard. Oh. <laughs> I might be good, but you know. <laughs> okay, so basically you scored it half an inch on either side. So you popped it on your scoreboard, scored it half an inch, and scored it five and three quarter inches. We're not finished yet because we want to do a really important step. And sometimes it's the simplest things that make your album just look that much better. So what you're gonna do is where you fold, you're just gonna take your scissors and you're gonna do a small mitre. So a small mitre is just cutting a small angle. And I normally use my scissors to kind of feel where that score line is. There it is there. It's a small mitre and all that's doing that little teeny weeny mitre, you can see it there, a tiny angle. All that it, that is doing is it's stopping you from when you pop your belly band down, it's stopping you from seeing where it's attached. Because we're gonna attach it to the side. It's up to you where you wanna put it. It's what I've done. Okay, so let me attach it quickly. Kind of put it equidistant, and I'm going to use the the lines to help guide me. Okay, so I pop that down. Here's the original. So this little guy can fit in here, hopefully. Okay. All right. And what I did, because I didn't want it to fall out or to fall too far down, I fussy cut this um, little this image and then I glued just on the side. So it's created a belly band <coughs> style pocket. And that's all there is to page three. Love Super it. duper simple. Love it. I'm sorry, Sandy, the insert that you put in there, where did you get that from, did you say? Um, it's an off cut, that, off -cut come, yeah, that we come back to. Okay. But That's I do fine. have the measurement there. No, no, it's all good. Okay. Yeah, I've got the measurement there. Yeah. It's a nine and three quarters by five, That's which fine. we'll cut. Yep. We can cut later. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah, we can cut it later. Okay, page four. We're looking for loving. Which is a fine page, so that wasn't difficult. We didn't have to look very far. <laughs> so I remember as a kid being chased out at five o'clock because loving was on by my mom. Oh. Yeah. Do you remember loving? I do, but I didn't watch. <laughs> <laughs> and very <laughs> They're showing you what we're going to create here. We're creating this page. Okay, so we're going to cut a section that goes there. 
then we're cutting a section that comes behind. Clip and it folds. Key. Okay. Good. And creates a pocket. So let's see if we can do it. Sure. Because you know, we do these things and then we've got to remember how we did them. Not so, Jen. Cut off your advertising strip, barcode strip. What do you call it, Jen? A what strip? Branding. Branding strip. That's probably the best one because it is your brand. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to see if I've got a picture for you. They're not really good pictures, but I'm going to try and show you one. Okay, so there it is there. We're going to cut a whole heap of strips. Okay. So the first one we're going to cut is a six by five and three quarter. Oh, I've just such a blank. A six by five and three quarter. <laughs> so we're going to cut a five and three quarter first. Okay. So we're going to cut this one to five and three quarters. Can you see my um, the image on my my guillotine? Okay, five and three quarters is the first one we're going to cut, and then we're going to cut it to six inches. If you want to, because there's a few things you can mark it, just mark it H1. I've got a little pencil mark on there, but you can put a post-it note with H1. Maybe what I should do for you is maybe write on here. H1. Uh, sorry, girls, I think I've cut it. Did I cut it incorrectly? Six, Six five, five and three quarters. Which is right. Oh, I've cut it. I told you I've hit a, an afternoon slump. Okay, so this is H1. Okay, it looks like that. Six by five and three quarters. H1. Your leftover piece from that one it's the same size. should be the same size, yeah. indeed. Okay, so we're then going to move on to this one, which is going, we're going to cut to five and three quarters, making sure that the little flutter bar is over there. Okay, so he's on your left-hand side. We're going to cut that to five and three quarters this little strip okay it's slightly different from my notes because i've cut the strip out here okay and then we're going to cut it to six and a quarter which i can't do on the guillotine so it's roughly there Okay, so this one is H2. And it is six and a quarter by five and three quarters. Okay. And then H3 is going to be three and a half by five and a quarter so i'm going to keep that for butterfly and i'm going to cut it to three and a half five and a quarter it's h3 you just say that is h3 do you think you said H? No. I said H. 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 Three and a half. There's no H. Huh. I know. There's an H. <laughs> I think we're actually wrong. There. I think no, you don't say sense. the H. You say, okay. it, it is silent. It's supposed to be H oh. without the H. It's just I'm lazy. You're lazy by adding an extra. Mm. Okay. 
Okay, next up, you need your scoreboard. I maybe should have told the girls to print the notes so they had them next to them. I don't know if they did print them. Mm, we've got a whole lot of people following on Facebook as well. Can you, can you please repeat the last one with the butterfly, the measurement? The two last ones. Okay, they are there. Sorry, that's why. H2 is six and a quarter by five and three quarters. So this is the top part of the page. And H3 is the top right hand is three and a half by five and a quarter. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Can I press on? Can I do the next the next step? Where's Helen? Helen's our thumbs up. There we go. Yep, Helen's good. Helen's okay. good. Right. So. right. So we're going to score this one. We're going to score at four inches. So that's so H1. H1. So all it's going to do is it's going to create a flap. Showing you in the album, it's creating this piece of the flap whoopsie it would be nice if you can see it's creating this piece of the flap which is where everything kind of hinges off okay so it's four inches pop that down and you're going to pick up h2 i just want to see I may have cut it from another piece, but it's not the end of the world. We're going to pick up H2, and again, we're going to score at four inches on the six and a quarter. So it's four inches on the left, four inches. And then this is just our insert. It's just our little insert that I think I've cut down. You might need to cut it down as well. Okay, so we're going to pop that to the side. Let's get assembling. So onto here, we're going to stick H1 flat into the album like so. Okay, can first step. Can you repeat that one's um, score line again from the board? Four, in four inches and four inches. They both had four inches. Four inches, four inches, and four inches. Okay, thank you. Okie dokes. Should I give you a minute just to get those done? It's okay, you can go on. Okie dokes. Then I'm just going to stick this down. I'm sticking H1 flat. I don't like using my fingers. I don't want a crooked finger. Very crooked. Yeah. Doesn't work with my OCD. Because no. it's not 100% straight. Okay, so we're sticking these down. You'll notice only stuck tape on the two sides. For no other reason than I'm a little bit lazy. I'll say you can stick them more. But you can stick them more if you want to. Okay, next we're going to add H2. We're going to join it, but just be creating a little pocket. So you want to do thin tape top 
and bottom. And I'm also going to put a little piece <coughs> along this side with folders. Okay, I don't know if you can see that too well. I've got tape there, there, and there as close to the edge as possible because that will give you the biggest little pocket. And I'm then going to attach this to that. Okay, so it's folded. I've folded that back in, and I'm going to attach. Okay, so it opens that way. So this one's folding this way. This one's folding this way. It's a nice image that I've got here. I'm going to pop that down, making sure it stays in the album neatly. Okay. And there I've got my page. This little guy, I think I've cut it to five and a quarter, which you may have to trim down a little bit. It's going to be tight. I'm going to just trim mine down to five inches. And it will fit in. It depends, of, honestly, it will depend on how thick your tape is and how close to the edge you put it in. You might need to or put your tape on your album. You might have to trim it down a little bit further, but just to get it in. I think I've also. Can you put on it on again? Sorry. I didn't see where you put the tape. Okay, so I taped. Um, I taped on the back of this sheet. So this front sheet, I taped along there, along there, and along there. I can't undo it because it's stuck. So I've taped there, there, and there on the back of this, the one you stuck down first. Make sense? Was that Des, Lolly, Des? Have you got it now? Okay. So it was there, there, and there. And then you'll stick your H2 directly on top. This little dude is going to fit inside. And you can come in later. You don't need to add it now. But you're going to have off cuts. I added the pink on this side. I didn't have such a pretty image. And I added a little piece, which I think I put in the notes, a three and a half by five and a quarter, which is a leftover from the piece of page one. So you can add that and at a later stage, or you can, um, and you're gonna use the same technique Jenny did, but you'll put it down where you wanna add it. Draw a little line so you know where to put your tape and you can add that. But we, if we've got time at the end, we'll come back and we can do all those. We're just trying to get the base pages made for at now. At the rate you're going, I think we will have time to come back. Okay, good. Yeah. Still got two hours. Woohoo! Yeah. Going like a Boeing today. Oh. It will be nice if we can come back and do all those little yeah. things. Are we ready to go into page five? It's no questions. Let me just confirm. No. And Helen looks good. So there we go. We <laughs> <laughs> just needs two minutes, please. Sure. When? When, yes. Okay. When? 
Kunai, when in Kunai are sisters, and they've got another sister. And, they, well. and they've just got a beautiful view of a dam, so they're not really focusing on scratching like this. Mm -hmm. They're being cheeky. <laughs> And you've got quite a few um, Aussies just staying up late to watch you. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. They're like, no, no, we're having fun. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That's really nice. Yeah. I think we've lost the New Zealanders. <laughs> They're like, they, hello. They've gone to bed. <laughs> they are two hours, uh, an extra two yes. hours. Yeah. yeah. They'll be up. They'll be up again before. <laughs> yeah. Before we finish. <laughs> that's true, actually. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Okay, Green's back. Thank you very much. Fantastic. All right, we're going on to page five. There it is. You can change it up if you want. Using the exact same paper, you can switch it around. So if you want the pink on the outside, you can work with the pink and have the green inside and vice versa. So we're going to be working on this section here. And it holds oh really. My head. Show it, that again. It's a, it's a little waterfall inside That's the. That's so cool. Very clever. How many it's, photos can you get in there? Like, oh, lots. You can do front and back. Yeah, so you can get two, four, six, eight, nine, and if you put there ten, you can get at least ten little photos wow. on there. The idea was getting lots of photos. Mm. So we are looking for respectful. Yes. That one. <laughs> so it was how to use this that was big in a small format. So that was how I came up with it. We're going to do a chop branding. What's the, what do you call it? Branding, branding strip. strip. <laughs> We've had somebody on the other side, they call it name strips. There are no, many words. I do this. like the branding strip though, because it is. That's what it is. Yeah. So I think I'm going with branding strip from now on. You can chop the branding strip off. And then I do have a picture. Although it doesn't look. Why does my picture look different, Dennis? <laughs> but it, it seriously looks different. Did you turn a piece of paper or something? It's, it's a mirror image. No, it isn't. It's how I've chopped it. Oh, you know, seriously, go. Okay, we're going to. <laughs> You're kidding me. This is different from what I've got. Okay, take a break. I'm going to. <laughs> Re so the first we regroup, this is like, whoa! So we Sorry, going to Sandy, talk? to interrupt? Yes, yeah, so I need to do it. with G3. What do you do with? G3. Page three, for a sec. Uh, that's one of them I think we're coming back to. It's this pullout. So we're going to come back. It's this little guy that goes in to there. Okay, understood. Okay. So those are what those are the things we're going to come back to once we've finished and once I've finished um having to breathe. The first strip that we need to cut um take off. The first thing we need to do is we need to take this strip and cut it to four inches. Just get rid of that little white bit. So you might, it might be just slightly. Okay. So that's your first strip. It looks like that. And pop that to the side. Then from this sheet, we're going to cut four pieces that are going to measure three and seven eighths. Now, the only reason I've done three and seven eighths is that we want these little pieces we want them to fit just inside here 
So if you don't know what seven eighths is, um, you can always just trim a smidgen off each one. And generally, if I'm at home working, I would put this on my big guillotine and I would cut, I would cut all four pieces together so that they're all exactly the same size or set a guard so that I can get them all the same size. So all size. So all I'm going to do to start with is I'm getting rid of that. I'm going to cut them down. I need to get rid of the white. So instead of doing 55 cuts, I'm going to cut this to five and a half inches. Okay, so I've got the heart. And I'm going to turn around on this, this one around. Okay, so let me show you quickly again. I'm cutting that to five and a half inches. Then I'm going to flip it and cut it to five and a half inches. And this is definitely a throwaway. And now from these two pieces, they have five and a half inches in height. I'm going to cut them to three and seven eighths. And each time I cut it, I'm going to get rid of that white strip. I'm going to try and be as accurate as possible. I suppose you could put a little mark on your guillotine. This is looking pretty good. Three and seven eighths. size again that you're having to three, three and seven eighths by five and um i'll put it up now it's like nine comma eight <laughs> they are so this is just four by 12 it's four inches by 12 inches <laughs> this is i1 and it's four inches by 12 inches and this is i2 And it's three and you've got four of them in total so they're going to become those pages they're going to become your little waterfall inside your waterfall. it's your waterfall waterfall and billy band the other Oh. It sounds like you're going on a vacay. Tuck, tuck, tuck spot. Tuck spot. That's Juliet's favorite to tuck spots. Okay, so this is where you get to choose whether you want to use green on the outside or the pink on the outside. I'm going to stick with the green and show you. You need your scoreboard. I see everybody's still standing, which means they cut them. So okay. Give them a minute. I'm still standing, and after all this time, I feel like a little child. There we go, Lolly sat down. So I think we're good. Oh, Helen's still standing. Cool. Let's move on then. Okay. So this little guy is sticking along the so the 12 inch is along the top. And you're gonna score at three inches is your first score and your second one is right next to it at three and one eighth 
Then you zoot on down. And if you want to make it easy, score it nine inches, which is where the other white strip is. And then move to your left one space, because that is eight and seven eighths. And while we've done that, it's because we've given it space so that when you put some photos in, you don't have this piece doing that. So I'll give you the score line again, all the way along the top. You're going to score it three inches and three and one eighth. The, so right next door. Then you're scooting on down the line and you're scoring at nine inches. And you're going one space to the left to eight and seven eighths. And you can pop back to the side because then you're going to pick up these little guys and you're going to pop them on your scoreboard, making sure that you put, so if this is the right way, the proteas, the way the proteas are going, and you're gonna use, sorry, we're gonna use the pink side to make a difference, okay? I'm making sure my proteas are facing to the left, and I'm gonna score at half an inch. The same on this side, half an inch, and I'm going to do that for all four pieces. Fuck your dots are facing me. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> this old brain is already confused enough. <laughs> okay. We can put our scoreboard away. going to start assembling. So flip these little guys over to the green side. And we are we remember with Jenny, you sometimes fold it over the hinge, sometimes you left it so that you just stuck it flat. We're just going to be sticking flat. So you're going to add your tape and that half inch section created by the score line. So I'm doing all mine on the green side. I can see, I don't know if it's my tape that is off. <laughs> Maybe my tape is off because I always use half inch tape and I see it's sticking over the edge, which I don't like, so I'm just removing it. But if you've got any tape sticking over the edge, remove it, you don't want it there. This tape is it's bulged. Yeah. So I wonder if it was faulty. It was a faulty cut. Mm. Like faulty towers. It was faulty. No, I can't get it off my finger, can I? No, that was silly. Okay. So let's stack. We're going to create our little stacked waterfall. So normally a waterfall would sort of be staggered but we're not going to do that we're going to stack ours so getting the pink side up Alrighty. i'm just going to have a look at my pattern and see how i want to do it what i want the pattern to look like i'm going to have it looking like that so i'm going to start by Just stacking them. And I generally just pop them. Like so. Stack them all together to create a nice little pile. Maybe 
so just stack them all together. So now what's going to happen is they're just going to flip up. Let's stack. Sandy, can you just repeat that again for me, please? Okay, so you've got your um, your smaller pieces, your three and seven eighths by five and a half. You scored them at a half. You've turned onto the back and you put your double-sided tape on top on the in that half inch section created by the score line. And then you're just simply going to stack them on top of each other. So you've stuck them all together, excepting for the last one, because this guy is going to go in here. Make sense? So you've just kind of joined them together. Molly, thumbs up. You happy? Cool. Right. Remember when we did this, we had two score lines. I'm just going to use my ruler to fold the first one and the second one because when score lines are super close together, it's much easier to just use your ruler to help you. I just want to fold them so that I know that I'm positioning my stack waterfall. Okay, so I've just folded them. So you've got a little bit of depth. And I want to make sure that my proteas, because this is going to be on the outside, I want to make sure that my proteas on the outside are facing the correct way. When I open, unfortunately, the pink ones are going to be upside down, but that's not the end of the world. But they will, they are facing the correct way. Now that they're facing the correct way, I can take the last piece of tape off and eyeball it. And you should have the smallest border on either side. Okay, so you should have just the smallest amount on either side. But you've got a nice little gap, top and bottom. I could have probably pushed that up a little bit. Okay, so you've got a cute little booklet. We're going to flip that over. Let me let me let you get that far not rush you so much. There's your little waterfall inside. And then we're going to tape the back. And I would probably apply a fair bit of tape if my mouth wasn't in the way. It's going to be quite heavy. By the time you've added all your um, photos to it, it will be pretty heavy. So give it a, a decent amount of tape. and add it to your album. Mm 
Sure. We can have a tea break, eh? We can yeah. Quite a while. I think we've been going for two hours, so yeah. at least two hours. So a tea break would be lovely. Janine, go and have your tea break. I'm going to go get some coffee. Yes, a coffee you like break. A coffee, I'd love a coffee, thank you. What have I done here? I just stuck this upside down, Dennis. You're not going to believe that I've my whole helm was upside down. <laughs> the whole helm was upside down. Yeah. <laughs> Somewhere along the line. <laughs> oh, the sample one. <laughs> Thank goodness it's a sample one. If we go through the album, it's going to be upside down. <laughs> Girls, I've just like the whole thing. Somehow along the line, I switched it. <laughs> a rookie era. Okay, so page two, page three, page four. Yeah. Rookie era. I'm going to try and undo page one. Jenny's Jenny's left off. Oh, we're making a mess. Me of all people who's a music teacher. Because my music notes upside down. So it's all upside down. I can just flip the whole thing around later. Yeah. I'm sure somebody else is going to do that at home so you can show them how to fix it.
unfortunately, you probably won't even notice that anything has happened. Because I can lift, I don't know if I can lift this off. Jenny lifted it off quite easily, but I've used the thicker, the stronger tape. So the lady is watching from Oz, Karenina. She owns, I would say, the all the stores we've been to. It's the biggest scrapbooking store. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's really cool. It's like this older place where everything's in a different room. So one room is cardstock, one room is, oh. say, chipboard, a brand is so all like given. So like my stuff type of thing on steroids. Yeah, and they've got a really big class in the back that can seat easy, I would say, 40, 50 people. It's a very, very cool store if anybody's ever in Brisbane. Sandy, Sandy, you're making me nervous. Why are you unplugging stuff? Because I, I stuck it in upside down. I was obviously not paying attention. So all I'm doing is I'm moving it. I, I started on page one, which was right. And then somewhere along the line, so that was page one. So I had page one, and then I must have put the album down and picked it up. Instead of picking it up like that, I picked it up like that. So I'm just pulling it off and turning it around so it's correct. The pages are all correct. They were just upside down. And it's easier for me to take out page one and add page one. See, the rest are all upside down. The problem, I tell you. So I'm just removing it gently. Don't, yeah, don't worry, Lolly. yours is right. Everything we've done is 100% correct. No, I just got a little bit nervous. No, I just made a stupid error. So I'm trying to fix it. And I don't I don't have glue undo here because you can't take it on the plane. And also, if you're using glue undo, it doesn't like craft. If you use glue undo with craft, you actually can't stick your craft down again. So I'm trying this lift off, which I've got. I've got one and I've been trying to get more, but the, the supplier hasn't had stock for a while. But Jenny used hers just now to remove um, uh, paper and it worked pretty well. So it's, it's, I suppose I was just trying trying to test out the lift off. But that distressed look is just amazing. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> but it's going to be going to hide it anyway because I'm going to stick the album back in. Hopefully, the correct way. I need to concentrate yeah, now. You've, you've got more of a Tim Holtz kind of distressed look going now. <laughs> so, what's happened? That's you like, don't want to know. You don't want to know, Jane. You don't want to know. Upside down. Upside down. Oh, yeah. Page one was the right way, and then from page there on was upside down. There it is, there. Oh, no, only me. No, nobody else. Just me. Okay, let's get it right now. So I used your lift up. I hope you don't mind. Oh, sure, go for it. And I've taken page one out. I just removed page one and I'm sticking it back down. We haven't done any more. We're still having a break. Yeah, we just having coffee. Perfect. And I'm just fixing my album so that page one is page one and not an upside downer. Mm -hmm. Oh, that doesn't look great. So 
So saying, as you see, Jeffrey's bay is stuck in a bit of a time warp here. We don't have front walls in the gardens and the neighbor's kids were riding their bikes up know. and down the driveway and knocking on the door. And <laughs> it's like the 70s. <laughs> it is. We're kind of stuck in a, a time warp here. But how cool is that? It is cool. So every every morning, um, we my husband and I, Rod and I, are staying in a bed and breakfast. And every morning we walk across, not because Dennis hasn't asked if he could fetch us, but just it's so nice to walk. It's like so cool in more ways than one yeah it's a gentle stroll there's one little hill but it's just really nice being outside mm. and it's fresh yeah. clean air the wind blows all the pollution away <laughs> yeah it's really windy mm. Okay, we've now fixed it, turned it the right way around. Coffee, wasn't it? Who was making coffee? Mm -hmm. Yes, you were making coffee. Mm -hmm. And then we've mixed all our food delicates away. Mm -hmm. Will you? Yeah. Will you make us a coffee, please? Well, that was a lucky error, wasn't it, Jane? The things mm -hmm. you do when you just, yeah. Yeah. You're concentrating on doing so many things. Anyway, it's relatively fixed. It's not great because it's not perfect. I don't know. I mixed it. I moved it along. So that one's better. Yeah, it'll be fine. I shall fix it at home. Yep. Always ways around things. Always. Yeah. It's a great little album. Oh, Kelly. Kelly's saying thanks for an awesome day, but she needs to leave. Oh, it's the good thing about having it recorded. They can catch up where they left off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One of my mamas. My mini album ladies mm -hmm. is like, yay, take it off and switch. You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Dennis. Good. What is the time? Quarter two. Should we start again? Yeah, let's check if Janine's back. Janine, give us a thumbs up if you're ready to carry on. Yep, Janine's back. She's good. We're blaming you, Janine, but we were all wanting coffee. It's gross then. But it's never bad to have a copy break. Never okay, bad. so we're going to be working on page four, five, three, on page six now. Let's turn over so that we got the right page in front of us. It might be a great idea. Okay, so we're going to be creating a little left-hand side flap, right? There it is there. And then onto the left-hand side flap, we're going to create a little another little belly band. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Very, very quick and easy. And then we're going to add this extra piece, which is J3. And because when I created the album, it kind of moved around a little bit. I added the sentiment and then added the second sentiment, which kind of clicks it in place and stops it moving too fast. Yeah. Too far. Oh, that very is cool. Clever. Okay, so I'm going to take this out for now. And we're going to just create this flap. We're using an off cut from earlier. We're using the stripy one that looks like that. And if you look carefully at the pattern paper, there is a direction to it. You've got some words on it, and you've got this really cool little um, 
It's some writing in this little shield, is it? shield it's thing. Yeah. Okay, so that's it there. So we're cutting this to six and a half by five and three quarters. So we're going to cut the five and three quarter inch first. Okay, so we've cut the five and three quarter inch first. There it is there, five and three quarters. And then we're going to flip it upside down so that we keep that nice little image. And we're going to cut this to six and a half. Don't throw that piece away. Okay, don't throw that piece away because what we've cut off, you'll see is exactly what we need for the belly band because it's one and three quarters by six and a half. So we're gonna start off with this one. And we're gonna pop it on our scoreboard, making sure, I think I've given you a correct score line, yeah? We're gonna make sure that the image is on the right-hand side and we're gonna score at two and a half. We can fold that over. That's J1, can pop that aside. Then you're gonna grab J2. Oh, sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. I've made a mistake with that one because we need the six and a half, not the five and a half. Give me one second, please. I think I was supposed to have cut that thing first. One should always look at one's notes. Okay, I'm going to make a slight alteration on that because what I did was I cut it to uh, five and a half instead of I should have cut the six and a half first. Am I right, Jen? Mm. Help! Put it on top of your. Layer. No, it's too short. Has everybody cut this? Yeah. Okay, then let's modify it. That's fine. We're going to modify it to work. So we're going to pop this on our scoreboard, and instead of scoring at a half an inch, we're going to just score at a, a quarter inch. So we're going to score at a quarter there and at five and a half there, and it will probably work out perfectly. So score at a quarter of an inch and at if you can, if you know how to use eighths of an inch, you can score at five and five eighths. But if you can't score at five and a half, it will be fine. You're going to have to use your little thin tape. And you're going to put a little thin tape on either end. And then what you are going to do is you're just going to quickly mitre. So from your score line in. So all we've done to adapt it, because I was silly, we've made a quarter inch mitre. Sorry, a quarter inch. Still going to be smaller, though. It will be ever so slightly smaller. Yeah. OK. And quarter inches aren't ideal. And we will have loads of paper left. So if you want to change it up and put a slightly different piece on, it will work. Okay. And so if we modify this, we're going to have to modify the insert. So it's up to you. We can cut a whole nother piece and make it work. But let's stick this one down first and get this one so I don't do anything silly with this one. So we're just going to stick it down. Okay. 
And I think it may be better to cut a different belly band just yeah. so that we don't have to modify anything else. I so let's, I think it's a better idea. idea. We'll yeah. choose another little piece of off cut, mm. which I just want to choose really carefully. So you use the rest of this for something else? I think we do. Yeah. We do use it earlier in the album. We can always just come back and... We can come back and do a belly band. The joys of scrapbooking, you can always make a plan. So let me double check. We can actually use that. We can use this. Let's use this instead of using this one that we're trying to modify, I'd rather not. Let's just cut a strip from this one. So we're going to cut that strip. We're going to cut that strip to um just checking if the fit yes we're going to cut it to one and three quarter inches so we're cutting through this stripe if you're going to have to cut this way it's not long enough okay. it's only six inches so we're going to cut it to one and three quarter inches and then we're going to cut it to six and a half inches so that makes me a lot happier so so how wide is it? One and it's one and three quarter inches by six and a half inches. One and three quarter by six and a half. We're all a little confused, Jeff. Did you write that on a poster? Yes. This is J two, and it's one and three quarter inches. Uh, six and a half inches. Okay, sorry, ladies. Do apologize. No problem. No worries, mate. No worries. We don't say mate. I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> no worries, buddy. Did you make the coffee, Dennis? I did. Because it's got a nice amount of sugar. Rod's mean with the sugar. <laughs> <laughs> you mean with, mean with this beer. <laughs> That's how he gets you back. <laughs> okay, so we're going to pop it on our scoreboard with the six and a half inch along the top. And we're going to score when I can find my scoring tool. We're going to score at a half an inch and at six inches. We're trying this again. This is like take two. And we are going to <coughs> tape in the half inch section created by the score line. And we might ring just a small matter just so we don't see where it joins. So from the score line and these little guys have a way of um, jumping everywhere. And then I actually think I prefer the stripe going down. It was a good mistake. Yeah. I'm then going to add it into our album. I hope it doesn't affect anything else, but I don't think so. I've got a whole other sheet of paper. But loads of paper. Mm. Dennis and Baba. Dennis and Baba. I don't know if anyone can hear. <laughs> it's not me, Dennis. This is the other Dennis. <laughs> What's he doing? He's having a sing along with the cat. cat. Well, Can you not hear him? The cat wants its food, so he's just talking to it, but it's wanting food. 
No, I can't hear it. Sorry. Can't you? Can't you? I can hear the cat, but I can't hear the dance. <laughs> All right, so you're going to cut your image. We'll go on there. And then when you cut this, which is your off, off cut from your front cover, when you cut this piece, it will slide into. I'm just going to show you again how it slides into it. So on your middle piece, you only stuck down this side. It's going to slide into the belly band, past the image, hook on, and then slide back. Very, very clever. Very clever. Are we getting that's oh, do you want to do that? I was going to come back and do all those yep. bits. I'm going to do the yep. base yep. album and no, then come back. Cool. Sorry. Okay. No, you need to keep Don't me. Listen in. to me. No, you need to keep me in check. You need to keep me in check. Right. We're going on to page seven which is the off cut from tight not knit tight not, tight not knit <laughs> tight knit not <laughs> that one tight not knit so i'll show you what the page looks like again so that you can you're not taking a, a, a new page you're keeping your you're keeping your page did i use all of them oh, i used already i've used both of them okay so you use an off cut yeah. so it looks kind of like this and we're just going to be cutting this base page, this piece at the back. And we also can cut a tag from it. Okay, so it's your base page, which is also a space for a tag. So you need your guillotine, and we are going to cut a good piece it doesn't really matter where you cut from it's up to you to decide what you want to see you're not going to see loads of this anyway you're going to see the top and you can see a little bit of the trellis sort of there so it's up to you how you cut it but i'm going to pop this i don't think i want to see this dark line so i'm going to cut it on my school board i'm going to cut it to four inches and then to five and three quarter inches. If you want to add that notch, I didn't bring my circle punch. So um, if you want to add that notch, you can add it now. Okay, don't stick anything yet because we're just going to stick three sides. And then we also are going to take a piece of this, which is, um, extraordinary extraordinary or extraordinary we're going to cut a piece to three and a half inches Ooh, thank you uh, four, three, uh, three and a half inches four inches and you can choose thanks dennis Okay, so I'll show you. Thank you so much. So generally what I do I use my centering ruler and I make a little mark as to where the middle is and then I kind of make a mark on either side. How do you do yours, Jen? If you want to eyeball. do your eyeball. Oh, okay. So I make a little mark. I make a mark on the center and I mark, make a mark half an inch either side of there. The to be center. honest, I don't normally make notches. So. I was going to say, Jenny eyeballing, like I can't picture that. Right. You're not and, an eyeballer. <laughs> and the same, I'm doing the same on the second piece. So I want them to look sort of. I think this is a, this looks like about an inch and a half. It's a two inch. Okay, this is an inch and a half. So I'm going to stick with an inch and a half. Then I just look at it, I pop it in upside down. Uh, 
and I just cut a little knot. So this part I eyeball. Um, and my home uh, circles, and my home circle cutters, I actually have drawn a, a little line oh. so I can see how far I've put them. Mm. Okay, so my notches are cut. I'm going to flip them over onto the reverse side, and I'm just popping tape right on the edge. On three sides only, so not the notch side, just the other three sides. And you can see I took Jenny's warning about having a crooked finger seriously. Uh, just for Savvy quickly, what was the size of the protea paper? Three and a half by four. So three and a half by four. And that is K2. I think what's quite cool is the fact you can do the base and then you can really turn it into your own totally creation decorate to make it mm, yeah. yours you don't have to follow anything that i've done i mean and it's amazing how when i look at the because normally the albums that i do with the ladies are the base album mm -hmm. and then i do decorate it i generally do one celebrate and one something else another yeah. range and it's amazing how the girls decorate them and it's it's totally different mm. and it's and it's amazing i mean it's really really <coughs> lovely let me just going to add these and I, I think I kind of worked like Jenny, where you use the page and then you come back and you, that's why it's all the off cuts because you don't want to have too many, especially in a small album, you don't want to have too many of the same pattern mm. right in the beginning. You want to spread it out. Yeah, yeah. I just need to learn how to do the notes the way Jenny does them. It's not that you need to learn, it's, it's having the time to do it and you just don't have yeah. the time. You just... You run a shop, you do so many other things as well. Paint walls, cupboards, yeah. install cupboards. Well, Jenny is a celebrator distributor, so you know I do work with <laughs> my people. <laughs> we work, we work hard. Really? <laughs> Get your money's worth. <clears throat> we work hard. Okay, pop this one down. And again, you can also move it around to where you want it to be. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it so that it's equal, sort of equidistant all the way around. And I'm eyeballing it. I'm not measuring it, but it would be roughly a quarter of an inch. And then you've got your little pockets. So things like this that you've got left over, those are all things that you can use as tags. You've got all these little bits of and pieces that will fit perfectly as tags. And tags are really simple to make. Does your mic magic perhaps help you make a tag or not really? Uh, it yes, it will. Out. I'll show you how to make a quick tag. So we have got a measurement of J3, uh, sorry, we've got a K3 measurements which is four inches by two so if, if you look at k3 you've got two and three quarters martin does indeed make a tag so let's make two tags what sorry Sandy, I don't know what okay so what is it? Is it is uh two and three quarters by four inches And tags are always a problem because you can never cut the sides the same. So I'm popping my mouth and the jig on there. I'm just flipping it over, making sure it's level top 
and side. Oh, so that's what that angle is for. Yeah. So I'm glad you reminded me because I probably. <laughs> right. So you just. And do it again. <coughs> oh, I was going to do. Let me do it again, just so. Erin needs a new blade. Yeah, no. seriously it's needs a new blade. Okay, so you pop your tag there, like so. So you're making sure you've lined up that edge and that edge, and snip, flip it over. Oh, I hope it cuts on the right side. Line up that edge and that edge, and snip. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, and then for those of you who don't know how to make the little reinforcing ring, uh, this one's a little, this is a little bit bigger than I would normally use. But what you can show us the concept. I'll show you the concept. You just go through and you punch a circle, or you can punch two circles if you like. So I generally would use a half inch, no, not a half inch, I'll lie to you. I would generally use a, this is an inch, a three quarter inch punch. So I'm gonna look through all my off cuts. So don't <coughs> use, oh look, remember we did this one. <coughs> this is the one that we, um, what, that I gave you the wrong measurement for. That's incorrectly. If I looked at my picture, I would have done it perfectly. Okay, so. Generally what I do is I do punch two circles and then I punch a hole in the center and then you can join those on. So that gives you your, and you can do whichever color you like. It gives you a reinforcement ring. So you need just a single hole punch to do, which I've got, which I've got, which I've got, which I've got. Uh, a little three eighths of an inch punch and kind of eyeball I'm going to have to eyeball it so roughly there one sixteenth is a lot is a three this one's going to be really big I've got a three sixteenth That's of an inch the concept, really. yeah so you pop, uh, okay, so now this is, this is such a cool thing to learn. Because the circle, the circle is too small. I can't hold it. Mm. So you just take your oh, post-it post -it. and your post-it becomes your little handle. handle and then you can punch it out. So... Very clever. Right, so this is way bigger than it should be, and the hole is way bigger, and it's not in the centre. I mean, we get the idea. But you get the idea, <laughs> yeah. and that's like such a cool little tip. Mm. So let's try that again. Let's see how close you can get in the middle. In the middle, in subtle. The middle. In the centre, Mrs. Fender, Mrs. Fender. Much better. Much mm. better. And that's so it's helped you to hold it. Okay, so that's just basically how you would make one of those little reinforcement rings for your tag. So we can pop our tag in. And you can make a longer tag if you want to go in the top, or you can just slide in a picture. And Remember the words we used earlier? We have added a little word there. We're heading on to page eight, which is going to be super, super, super easy. We're using an off cut and we're using another off cut. You have a piece you cut earlier that looks like that. So we're going to come back and use those off cuts. We're not, we shouldn't have too many off cuts left by the time we've finished. I've got a little boidy here. <coughs> okay. They're my little boidies. They're, they're over very there. Very cute. 
So I'm just going to cut this to four inches. Base page, so it's four inches by five and three quarter inches. So this is a one four inches by five and three quarters. So you'll notice all our base pages are four inches by five and three quarters. And I find one. Here we go. And then this little piece that you found, it was a little off cut from earlier. We're going to cut it to four inches. And you don't really need to do anything to the size, but it should be two inches. And this one's for Juliet because you're making a little tuck spot. There was no way we could not have a tuck spot. Okay. I'm going to add a piece of thick tape along the bottom. And I'm just going to add that. You could stick this all down first. Oh, this is not coming undone. Quite nice to stick it off the page because then, I mean, not off the page, off the album because then if you haven't cut it exactly perfectly, you can trim it before you stick in. And we're just going to add this to the back of the album. <coughs> Early to bed for you, Jen. Yeah, I know. Sorry. Not to you no. can use glue as well, and you can put glue all the way around. Cool. It's coming together. It is indeed. I just want to find all my. If you want to um, grab all your little off cut pieces, get them in front of you. And on your main album there, the completed album, could you just show us that last page? So oh, yeah. We had some tuck with a little there. tuck spot. Okay, okay so, so what I did tag. with this one is I added a tag as well to the outside. So that stuck down and just added one of the little dome stickers. And then um, clearly I didn't put ribbon in those. But just to show you, you could take these and literally just tuck them in here. And you could also take bigger pieces. You could quite easily take bigger pieces and add them as well. So you could even put photos you on could the put, matting. And yeah, them. photos on a mat and add them in there. And then the last page, all I did was I fussy cut the image. I thought it was a circle one, but now my brain is old. It was this image. Oh, okay. And I was determined I'd fussy cut all of them that I was going to use them. So what I did is I once I'd fussy cut it, I put it on the guillotine and I cut it straight and straight. So I've cut down to get that image. Mm -hmm. Very cool. And then this one was <laughs> one of the leftovers of the four that I added, and it's got a bit of heart. But this is not so just layered it. I've layered it, but it's not just, it's actually a a space, a, a little pocket. Oh, very clever. So you can still put things inside. Mm. 
um, it's and it because it's quite big, it will hold something quite substantial. So if mm. you wanted to put a letter or something in there, mm. you could easily put a letter in there. So I've taped along the bottom edge like so, and then this extra protea I've just raised using a little bit of foam oh, okay. tape. Mm. And that well, wording at the back is that the acetate? That's the acetate. Oh, really how cool. cool does that look on the ribbon? Okay, so I had the ribbon, and oh. um, I always like to try and use a little bit of everything that's in a bulk pack. Yeah. And the only way I could bring the ribbon is was to also what it did was it I hid the join. Bit. Yeah. So I bought it all the way around, and it joins down the bottom, which I've also I've mm. used another one of the domes. Very cool. And then I fussy cut around the family ties and I've stuck that with regular, just regular glue. Looks very good. Very stuck effective. that on going that way. Mm. So I've used it, it then yep. meant that I'd used the ribbon and I've used yep. the pink ribbon. Looks very good. We've still got quite a bit of time, so I don't know if maybe we're going to put that. There was a couple of inserts. Yeah, let's go back we, and do them. Yeah. This must be the winner when I close. Lolly, Corneille, Helen, you guys keen to carry on until five. Do some cool. Everybody seems keen. Yeah, we finished so We quickly. cool, we fine. It's just us. No men, no children, nothing. We can go till 12. <laughs> nice. I just want to show you the front of the album because the proteas were really beautiful. So I'd, uh, right in the beginning, when I saw the images, I wanted to do make a bouquet, like a Mother's Day bouquet. So that was what I wanted to try and achieve. And I think I almost did it. I've used from this fussy cutting sheet, I've used the two, the two proteas. So this is the one over here, is this one. So I've angled them and I've had to cut them shorter. This one is this one. I've cut that off there. And then I've used three of these proteas nice. on the front. That's really cool, yeah. It, it looks like a bouquet. It does look like a bouquet. Mm. It's yeah. very effective. So it was like a Mother's Day bouquet. Mm. And then I, I Skype or I phoned Jenny one morning early, early her time, <laughs> late my time. Or was it the other way around? No, it's always it's late normally your, your... late my time. It's normally like 10, half past 10, and it's like four in the oh. morning, half past four. I don't know what time. I said to Jen, I need help. I need something here. It's not green enough. And I gave her a couple of options. So we went with this one. Anyway, so let's pop that to the front. And okay, so do I need to show you how to do a little tuck spot at the front? Or should we rather press I on and do no, these the, the more complicated yeah, the bits of, like the paper inserts that we can okay. see up. We'll do one of these. Cool. Which yeah. is it's not difficult at all. But if we cut it so it's in there. We'll so. cut it and stick it in there. And um, we you'll need maybe maybe we should stick this down so yeah. we get the concept of the envelope. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do it. I'll tell you what sheets it is. You need to look for the sheet marked unconditional. And choose choose one of the images. You don't have to choose the same one I've cho chosen. I use this one, but you can choose any one. And I am going to use the same one again. And just. Quickly cut it out. Julie Cox in Australia says, Phoebe, keep going. It's tomorrow here now. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Julie. Did you cut right to the green or did you leave it? No, I left a small white. Hey, very Cindy, very... cut under the camera so we can see your, your oh. still. But then I have to bend down. I actually cut this a thinner line. Yeah. I cut on the inner line.
Dennis, can I just ask a question? You know the fussy cotton pages? Why can't you sort of like do imprints that we can just pop them out? Okay, so without boring you, <laughs> the cost of a dye is uh, really, really high. So we are looking at something. Um, it's probably going to come in June. I can't announce it just yet, but um, there will be something that will help you. You will require an electronic cutting machine, so a, a brother, a cricket, or a silhouette. But we are looking at digital cut files that you know, you'll be able to download for free, and um, yeah, your machines will cut it for you. Unfortunately, Lolly, the cost of a die is just too high for um, the units that we print. Okay, understood. Yeah. It's about 12,000 Rand to have a die made. So if I had to divide that by the, the sheets of paper, it would just increase the cost of a die pack. So, so Lolly, just fussy cut, girlfriend. Or, or if you don't have a cutting machine, I know a lot of you have got a cricket or a silhouette or a brother. Um, Sandy Scott, just bring her your page <laughs> and she'll get a machine to chop it up for you. But that's coming, that's coming quite soon. Uh, I think in June, no cut files. Okay, so we've got our image here and we're just gonna flip it over. So you're flipping it that way, okay? Like so. And we're gonna just mark where we're gonna where we're gonna tape it or glue it. So we're gonna mark this side. We're gonna glue there. Okay, so we flipped it this way. Not um, we did a <laughs> vertical flip, not a hor horizontal flip. So that we can glue there. And then also what we want to do, the second thing we want to do is we want to put a piece of tape over there. So piece of tape there, and we can glue or tape here. So I'm going to pop, I'm going to put the thin tape. I'm going to put a piece of thin tape there. Like so. And then I'm going to put a piece of thicker tape. You can also glue it. I think I went a bit awkward. We have gone over here. I'm just going to fold it back. Instead of cutting it, I'm just going to fold it back like so. <coughs> and I'm going to add a bit more tape. Just so it's stuck down. Remember, we had it lined up with the edge. So I'm going to stick that down. I'm just going to fold this back remove this piece of tape and stick it down. And I've now created the belly band with like a little pocket. So I can take out my other sheet of this and just cut a little strip. It is called Extraordinary. You say Extraordinary or Extraordinary? Extraordinary. Extraordinary. I know my English teacher always told us it was extraordinary. Not extraordinary. It's extraordinary. The brand. The branding strip. So if you're following on my notes, if anybody is, <coughs> you're going back to page three. 
which is your second page of all. Sandy, they've just announced load shedding is starting at five. Fantastic, so we'll be done. Hour, so we'll just need to. Well, really, we only. Um, I don't think we're going off here, but Julie will explain loading, load shedding to you one day. But no, we're fine here. Okay, we're going to be cutting on page three. We're going to be cutting G3, which is um, nine and three quarter inches that way by five inches, which I'm almost sure is impossible. No, it's not. Okay, so we're going to cut. We're going to cut the five inches first. So we're going to leave it sideways on. If you want to, you can cut it a little bit shorter than five inches. We're going to cut the five inches. And then we're going to cut to nine and three quarter inches. Keep your all cuts because in many albums you can use them all over the show. So I need to write the measurement down. Nine and three quarters. Up five. Right. Love from Marianne mm. Berry from Sydney, Australia. So she's also up so for Oh, yeah. wow. It's a very dedicated. Gee, ladies, I'm so impressed. All right, we're scoring at three and a quarter, three and a quarter, and six and a half. So three and a quarter and six and a half. And then you can fold your zigzag little fold. Perfectly, and it will fit in there perfectly. And you can either have you can have either side out, so you can either have the proteas with the green, or you can have the other side. But that will fit in perfectly. So nice little place to add photos. It's also quite a nice spot to add some journaling Ooh. or a letter. Yeah, oh, anything. Perfect. Perfect. I think if we've got half an hour, should we flip over to page page six? Okay. Page six is the one that looks yep. like this, because this was the other one that I did yep. fun stuff on. So just look at your notes for page six. And we are cutting um, J3. And it's this off cut from the, I think it says there, it's the off cut. It doesn't. Yes, it is off cut from page three, generosity and inner cover compassion. So it's off cut from this. And we are cutting it to five and a quarter. So Depending on what you cut your inner cover to, you might not need to just cut the smallest, smallest smidgen. Okay, so it's 12 inches by five and a quarter inches. Twelve inches by five and a quarter. If your piece is slightly smaller than five and a quarter, it's okay as well. It just means that your insert is going to be a tiny bit smaller. So it's not the end of the world. That's the beauty of scrapbooking, mini album making. We're going to score this one at four inches and at eight inches. So we're basically dividing our page in thirds again. And we are going to fold this 
So this is where the fun comes in. Because remember, if we pop this in like that, it's going to go past the where the fold the fold in the pages. So this is where the fun happens. I'm trying to see which way I've got mine. I have mine upside down again. Okay. So we need two images, two of these. But I have used this one and that one. So we need to cut two of those so I can show you how this works. So you're very quickly going to cut out. That. And I've cut quite close to the edge. I've just left the little white border. So my area is five pm. You know, when you fussy cut, you move the paper, not your scissors. So try and keep your scissors still and just move the paper. Oh, that's good too. And you can go much faster that way. And you also don't get those ugly, um, like scissor marks. And while you're cutting there, if any of uh, the Australians would like to join Jenny's class tomorrow, it's nine to 12 in the morning here, but it will be from five in the afternoon, 5 mm -hmm. p.m. until 8 p.m. So if you are going to bed, but you want to join us tomorrow for that class, you'll be using the Hippity, Hippity Hop. Hop. Hippity Hop collection. So please join us. It's been fun having you. And thanks for staying on. Yeah. You also need the protea, is that right? Yeah. This one. Well, something this size, so you can pretty much take anything. Mm -hmm. You need something a little bit bigger. I think I'm going to be super lazy and use glue for this one. Hope it doesn't backfire. Yeah, <laughs> no, we've got a few people who are just, I think, very tired for long I day. Think so so they're not. saying goodbye on the WhatsApp group. A few are going to stay until five. So should we just, um, can I just say thank you very much for Pleasure. the class. If you don't mind staying until five for those who've got some No, I don't mind. And just going through some... I think we all look just quite tired. Right? Mm. Yeah. So concentrated most yeah. of the day. Yeah. But the, the good thing is we finished. We finished. So we finished yeah. the base. It's the decorating. Yeah. It's always, yeah. I think, always better to decorate when you have photos. So if yeah. you're going to put your yep. photos on, yes. it's better to do that because then you add the sentiment that goes with the photo. Yeah, exactly. That's true. Okay, so yeah. I'm, I'm going to show them this one and then yeah. pretty much I think we've done all the... Yeah, We've we can maybe it. field some questions yeah. if anybody's got about. So I'm going to be a little bit lazy here and I'm just going to use glue because I don't want a crooked finger. Yeah, so I'm me. turning this upside down and I'm just going to put a little mark. 
So I know we're not to glue. So we're not gluing there or there. And I'm going to pop a little bit of glue while Jenny uses her magic finger. Okay, popping a bit of glue on. And I'm just lining it up with the edge of the page on this side. It's pretty much fitting exactly within what we um, folded. So that's really simple. I do agree with you. I think the stripe looks better. I think, the, down. Yeah, yeah, I think the stripe looks better going down. So I'm glad I made the mistake. Cool, yeah. All righty. And then to get it to work, to fold, there's your music paper. Okay, so there's your paper. Make sure you've got it the right way. I had it turned upside down earlier. There's your flutter bar. We are working in the middle piece. So we're working in that middle section. One, two, three. And we are just going to tape or glue the, on the right hand side. So again, flip it um, vertically, not horizontally, and add your bit of your bit of tape. I'm trying to remember how much tape I added. I, think I added about halfway. Before I stick it down, I'm going to pop this through here so I don't make a mistake. Because I think we're all a little tired. And I'm going to make sure, right, I flipped it. Um, vertically again. I've got to make sure that I don't have too much tape, but also that I have sufficient. I mean, it's like I'm going to put extra there. And then I'm actually going to add one more piece because otherwise it's not going to do what it's supposed to do. I'm going to leave it there. And I'm going to pop it on here so that it's high enough. All it has to do is just, just overlap. But not touch the tape. But not yeah. touch, yeah. Okay. Because now what you'll do is you have to pull it back and through. Clever, clever, clever. So it's just, I think I may have got mine a little, I've got a little bit too much tape on almost. Just so it creates that, it's, it's a different type of stopper or closure. I think it's like Jenny, you always try and think of something a little bit different. Mm -hmm. Every time you do something, yep, it's yep. not, it's not just repeating it, it's trying to teach another, yep. another something or doing something a little bit different, which is hard. But that's our base of our album done. Mine doesn't look so great. But so Sandy, um, because obviously this is going to be recorded and people will want to watch the video afterwards for the yes. assembly, could you just walk us through your, your album one last time? I'll so it's on the video for assembly. Now clean, I'm going to clean this up first and just make it neat and tidy ish. All these things out of screen quickly. Even Robin is still awake. <laughs> wow. Yeah, amazing. Hi, Robin. Commitment. Yep. I know it's amazing. All right, so just going back a little walkthrough of the album because this is going to be better than the video I did at home. So on the front, I have added the little bouquet. On the side, I've used one of those images, one of these. And on the back, I've also used one with the ribbon and the bulk pack that wraps around and joins down the bottom. And it's underneath one of the little dome stickers. 
opening up into the front page. Again, I've used one of those images as a little tuck spot so that you could tuck a message in. You could, if you wanted to, I've only added tape on the left side, but you could do the bottom as well. And then I've added another one of the sentiments from that page. Page one opens up like so, but it also has only been stuck down on three sides so that we've got space for a tag. Page two opens up, loads of space for photos there, or well, not loads, but enough. And then it's also got the little insert. And again, I've used from the one of the fussy cutting sheets. Page three, you have a little concertina-like fold. Page four, obviously. <clears throat> Just space to put little tags and stuff. The back of page four. I don't think we added this on, but it's an off cut and the measurement is there with a little flap. <coughs> page five, we go onto the stacked waterfall. I think that's my favorite. <laughs> Very cool. Page six. That page that opens. We've also got a page here for quite a few photos. Page five, space for tags. Page six, we've got tuck spots. So space to tuck little bits and pieces. We don't have to limit it to anything as small as what we've got here, as small as the tags. You could go with something bigger quite easily, wider. And then finally, the back page, I've created a pocket as well. That would be quite nice to tuck a letter or a message in. So that is the mini album. Gorgeous, Sandy. Gorgeous. Thanks, gorgeous. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Jenny, don't you want to just stand there next to Sandy for a sec? I'm in my pajamas. It's nobody will see all the way down. And then Aussie time, it's really early in the morning anyway. And so you should be wearing pajamas. <laughs> so I just want to thank you both um, very, very much. <coughs> Obviously, we've still got a class tomorrow, but uh -huh. thank you. Thank you for the hours you've put into these beautiful projects. And thank you for sharing your knowledge and for making these notes available. Um, you know, honestly, without you guys uh, and your contribution to scrapbooking in the industry, we wouldn't be here. So thank you. I don't um, think we would be here without you. Oh, no. It oh. works both ways, oh. doesn't it? You would, what paper you would, would be swear doing. it's Wednesday. <laughs> 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 so I'm going to end the recording now, but we'll keep the Facebook Live and um, the Zoom meeting open just for another five minutes. So if anybody wants to ask any questions or chat to anybody, um they'll both be here for another five minutes then i think it's a uh, early dinner and um off to bed <laughs> <laughs> i can't remember where Thank my brain you. worked that long <laughs> no it's been a big day